Hey everyone, um, today is January 4th, and I'm in a lot of pain. I think I broke my ankle yesterday. I was at the gym, and this requires a lot of skill. I was at the gym, and I, I went, I met my friend there. I was talking to her at the treadmill, standing still. As soon as I turned to go get changed to start working out, I fell. I turned like this, and then this angle gave out, and I heard it pop, and I, it landed like sideways or upside down, <sighs> and it hurt so bad, and it swelled up to like the size of a baseball. Well, I didn't know if, I, I didn't know anything, so <laughs> don't like laugh at me, but I continued to work out after it because I thought it was all right. You know, it wasn't that bad. And I might have just made it worse, honestly. I didn't run or anything. I mean, I, I walked lightly um, at like a th anywhere from a 3.0 to a 3.5 uh, mile per hour. If you work out, you know, that's like a pretty basic walking speed. But I walked uphill to you know, burn the extra calories. Um, and I did that for about 30 minutes. And then I got on the bike, and the bike seemed fine. Uh, but towards the end, I just couldn't do it anymore, and I realized how bad my ankle did actually hurt. For the rest of the day, I pretty much sat and did nothing. Um, <sighs> just woke up. I, I wrapped it last night, and this, uh, it's this bandage that sticks to itself. It came in my, um my first aid kit. I don't know if... Yeah. Huh, you just saw the mess in my living room. Uh, I live alone, so um, I come home and I just like, take my clothes off and do whatever it is that I do. My ankle hurt so bad. I mean, wrapping it last night really helped because throughout the night I could feel when it would start to like move. But then I would always be reassured that the wrapping was on it. I mean, it's not like so tight it cut off circulation, but I think I did a pretty good job of wrapping it. Except that I didn't wrap it with my foot bent the way it's supposed to be, which I think is what you're supposed to do to make it heal properly. I wrapped it at what it... When my foot rests, it doesn't rest like this. It rests kind of like that. So, another thing... It's been one week since I posted my last video. Uh, I have lost some fucking weight. I, I've been at 245 for so long, it seems, since I've been with my boyfriend, since I've been at my job. I'm unbelievable. Guess where I'm at? This morning, I got on the scale. Very painfully got on the scale, because I have to use my right foot to get on the scale, too. And it said 238.8. Um, last time I saw the 30s, last time I saw the 30s, I was in ninth grade, and it was 234, I think. It was one of those things like you had to fill out a paper at the beginning of the semester with your weight and send it in. And I was I was so embarrassed. I was in the 230s. I put 224. Not like that's any better to a bunch of ninth grade kids. They're still going to see you're in the 200s. And yeah, so at the end of the semester, we all got weighed and it said 234. And they're like, how did you gain weight? It's like I didn't really gain weight. I just wrote down the wrong weight. Although I'm definitely getting smaller. Um, I have been noticing throughout the months, um, a bit of loose skin. Well, not like loose skin, but my skin is not where it should be. My, my bosses, some of my bosses were talking to me about it. You know, I told them, oh, I've been losing weight, and I told them how much I've lost. And then I told them that I was 245, because I was when I talked to them. This was only a couple weeks ago. And they're like... 
there is no way you're 245. And I'm like, yeah, I'm 245. And they're like, how? And I was just like, I'm tall. No, that's the only thing I could think to say to them, but that is true. I'm taller, so the way, like, spreads itself out through my body really nicely. I guess no matter how big I got, I've always been nicely proportioned, so that's good. I mean, I've got, I've got these gigantic hips. Like, even when I'm thin, I think I'm going to just have these big-ass hips. But then, like, my waist goes in really nicely, like, up higher. And then it just, like, goes out again at my ribs like it should. I've got, like, a nice... I'm going to be one sexy motherfucker when I'm thin and healthy. Just saying. But on top of that, I will have... I mean, I'm, I won't look right outside of clothes, I don't think, because I've been big for so long. My skin has been stretched out to a specific way for so long. I'm going to have... Almost every part of my body is going to have loose skin, I think. I think I got a second job at IHOP. Um, if you guys live in Daytona, it's... Daytona Beach Shores A1A IHOP. He told me he was going to call me so that we could set up a time to train with a specific server. So I'm pretty sure I got that job, which is amazing. I need the money so bad. Not to mention now i probably going to have to go get an x-ray, which is going to cost a billion dollars. And then a cast. Oh god. It's going to be really hard to work with a cast. I am a dumbass. How does somebody just just fall and break their ankle? I mean, usually somebody's running or like they get like falcon punched at their ankle or something. But no, I was standing in one spot and broke my ankle. What the fuck? Okay. Well, so yeah, uh, 238.8. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, three pounds. I'll be doing a body video. But every time I say that, I gain weight again. So, whatever. If I gain weight again, then next week I'll be telling you about it. Alright. <sighs> Goodbye, YouTube.